Hello there, everyone. It is I, Die Hard Gamer, here once again, and oh boy, it has been a while uh, since I've done one of these uh, videos, so I just have found out that my uh, uh, bi monthly game box from my kids, sure, you can arrived in the mail today, so. Ooh, I already, uh, looked at the games that I got, but I decided that I might as well go ahead and do a, uh, pickups video, you know, not really a pickups video, but you guys know what I mean, so. Let, uh, let us n not waste any more time. <clears throat> Okay, so first up for the Sega Saturn, we have a pin a pinball game, a fantastic pinball. Hmm. And uh, let's see, this is by Technosoft. And I, uh, I didn't know that they made a pinball game, so this is very interesting. I'll have to definitely check this game out. <sighs> I'll have to uh, hook up my Sega Saturn again, too, because I currently have my Nintendo 64 uh, hooked up to a 20-inch, uh, v TV VCR combo right now, so. Ooh, next up is a Lupin the Third game. I do own a Lupin, a, a different Lupin the Third game for the PlayStation 2, so... Oh, this is uh, also um, going to be very interesting to check out. I haven't really watched uh, the Lupin the Third anime, to be quite honest, so I don't know if anybody has licensed any of the classic Lupin the Third animes. It's definitely one of those animes that I would really like to check out. And, uh... uh just by looking at the, uh, screenshots on the back of the game here... Oh. Looks like it's going to be very interesting. So, there's that. Ooh. Next up, and the last for the Sega Saturn, we have Sakura Wars for the Sega Saturn. Uh, this game has an unofficial English fan translation patch, so... This is one of the reasons why I was really considering buying this game, so now that Jim has gone ahead and done that for me, I can cross that game off of my uh, list for my uh, Sega Saturn games that I want, which is really awesome. Um... Also, there was a commercial uh, for this game featuring Segata Sanshiro, uh, played by Hiroshi Fujioka, who's also uh, best known as his role, for his role, ex rather, as Takashi Hongo, a.k.a. Kamen Rider 1, from the original Kamen Rider, so... There is that. I only got three uh, Sega Saturn games. So, 
I'm not uh, disappointed with that, but. Ooh, and, okay, next up is for the Sony PlayStation, we have Kamen Rider Agito for the PlayStation 1. I do have a copy of Kamen, R Kamen Rider Kuga for the original PlayStation. Um... And for those of you uh, out there who are unaware, a uh, common writer Agito is kind of a pseudo sequel to Common Rider Kuga in a way, but not a sequel 100%, if that makes any sense. So, uh, that mostly had to do with the fact of the uh, Odegiri effect. So, if you have folks have no idea what that is, look it up on the, on the Google, so. Definitely glad to have another Kamen Rider game in my PlayStation collection. That is very awesome. And it's a uh, Bandai the Best uh, version of this game, which is kind of like uh, the PlayStation's uh, Greatest Hits label, I guess you could say. So, here's all of the games that I got there. Um, got a couple of PSP games. Ooh, uh, first up is way up... Oh, God dang it, what is wrong with my arm? Oh, I hope I hope I'm not pinching a nerve or anything. That would be good. But anyhow, first up is Way of the Samurai 2 Portable. I'm not sure if this game ended up coming out here in North America. I should have probably done some research before I started filming this, so Anyhow, uh, I will definitely have to check this game out. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it, except that, ooh. It does look like this game uh, takes place in uh, feudal Japan. And, uh, I really like that time period of Japanese history, to be quite honest. So, there's that. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, okay, I... <laughs> Since I don't know Japanese, I don't know what the title for this game is. Uh, hopefully Jim can help me out with that uh, when he gets a chance to. Because uh, he's been really busy as of late. So, uh, and I know it's developed by a spike, so, uh, that means that it's obviously got to be a good game, am I right? I'll definitely have to pop this into my PSP and give it a try. So, those are the only two PSP games that I got for this month. And, uh, ooh. Oh, God dang it. Okay. And the only game I got for the PlayStation 2 this time around is Bleach Blade Battler. Blade 
Battlers for the PlayStation 2, which is obviously a fighting game, uh, involving the Bleach IP, so... Uh, oh my goodness, uh... Say, say what you will about the Bleach anime. There, oh my goodness. There's gotta be a lot of Bleach games that ended up coming out exclusively in Japan that didn't make it over here. And I think... No, this is definitely not the one that Kid Shoryuken uh, did for his Import Game of the Day segment. That was a different Bleach game that I'm thinking of, so... Uh, I will have to hook up my Japanese PS2 Slim and give this game a shot. Uh, or maybe, maybe it is the game that Kid Shoryuken reviewed on Import Game of the Day. I don't think it, uh, maybe, hmm. I don't think it is, but then again, I could be wrong, but here you go. Uh, Bleach Blade Battlers for the PlayStation 2. And I also got some more game original Game Boy games. So, um... First up, I don't you don't know if you guys can see it all that well, but it's a Game Boy game with the Kunio Kun guys characters. Um, uh, I'm also gonna need Jim's help with translating this because uh, I know it's a Kunio Kun game, and that much I do know, but. As for the title, I'm completely clueless, so... Uh, I will be popping that into my Game Boy Advance SP at some point. Ooh. And uh, up next is Go Go Akman for the original Game Boy. I had no idea that there was a Go Go Akman game for the for the original Game Boy until uh, I saw this game in the box. So I'm um, I'm guessing that this game is definitely going to be different than the games that came out on the Super Famicom. Again, I'll have to uh, try this game out here as well and see how it plays. Ooh. And last but certainly not least, uh, to wrap up things for uh, this month's uh, game box, I got a Yu Yu Hakusho game for the original Game Boy as well. I do have one of the Yu Yu Hakusho fighting games on the PlayStation 2, and I have Yu Yu Hakusho 2 for the Super Famicom. Not entirely sure if this game is a fighting game or what genre this game is, but I'm definitely going to check it out. Uh, I want to see what kind of game this is for myself. So, uh... That about does it for all of the games that I got in my, uh, game box for this month from my kid Shoryuken. I'm not sure if I'm going to be receiving another one. Uh, because some people have received two game boxes uh, because of the ongoing state of emergency over there in Japan. 
and it really sucks that Japan can't seem to get its act together when it comes to the ongoing pandemic, but a little bit, um, oh, there are a couple of other things that I want to show off before I end this video, so, uh, Yesterday, I uh, got my pre-order copy of the first, uh, I guess you can call it the first saga of the Robotech anime, which has been licensed by Funimation. And uh, I'm definitely going to be watching that as soon as I get done uh, editing this video and all of that, so... Uh, Robotech was on Netflix here in North America on the streaming portion of their website, but like a freaking idiot, I didn't watch it, so now that I have this on Blu-ray, I'm indefinitely going to be watching it because this uh, never aired on uh, any on any of the television stations here in uh, Fe the Phoenix area, so uh, uh, this will be a first. This will be a first for me watching uh, the Robotech anime because I've never watched it before. To be quite honest with you. And, uh, there are some Robotech slash Macross games out there, so... I hope that Jim can, uh, pick some of those games up in the near future. So, there's that. And, uh... <clears throat> One last thing I'd like to go over here. Uh, the three-disc limited edition release of the Black Album Remastered. I, I got this shipped to me early, but unfortunately it's in kind of a little bit... It's a little bit beat up, but not beat up too much, which I guess is a good thing, so, ah, you gotta be careful when it comes to these things, especially with the ones where they, where they fold out. Okay, there is that. Oof. And here's what the whole thing looks like when it's unfolded. You have the first disc, which is basically the reissue of the Black Album, which just recently hit the Billboard Rock Charts at number one. For the first time since 1992, I believe. My word. Uh, disc 2 is a collection of some of the riffs, demos, rough mixes. And the rough mixes, uh... That, uh, that you find, will find on the deluxe box set version of this, but... I didn't want to end up paying $250 for that, so. And, of course, on disc 3, uh, is a lot of the, uh, live material, a good chunk of the live material from, uh, the first, uh, half of the tour for the Black Album, which lasted for two and a half years, and they played over 300 shows, 
including that monumental show at the uh, at the airfield out there in Moscow, along with ACDC, the Black Crows, uh, Pantera, and uh, a couple of other bands that escape my memory right now. So, there is that. Whoops. So, what? And I. Th Let's see. And. I also recently got the Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD remaster. I'm almost close to the end of my first playthrough of that game, but. Uh, the Tower of Kagutsuchi, oh my god. Uh, just, what what in the world was Atlas thinking when they were designing that? And, uh, I also found out that this was made with the Unity, the Unity engine, believe it or not. And the voice acting in this HD remaster is really good, believe it or not. So, that's all the stuff that I've got as of recently, including all of the games that I got from uh, Kid Shoryuken's uh, bi-monthly gaming box. Oh boy. Uh, I knew it took a while longer, uh for uh, Jim to get that sent out to me because uh, I don't know what's going on with the postal service over there in Japan but oh my goodness I'm just glad that the box uh, finally got here and I was able to finally make another one of these videos because I was getting kind of worried there for a little while so Mm. Uh, Jim hasn't really been uploading anything recently, but you definitely need to go and check out his channel. Especially, uh, go back and watch uh, all of the videos that he's done for his Import Game of the Day segment. Uh, there's a lot of uh, games in there that he has featured on that segment that are definitely worth the checking out, but uh, with how things are in the retro gaming market right now, uh, I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, it, it all depends on how the after how uh, the market is for the retro uh, gaming uh, collecting thing is going. Because that whole thing just uh, fluctuates a lot. So. I was kind of hoping for some Japanese exclusive Switch games, but I'm not... Uh, too terribly disappointed about that. But I'm really glad with what I've got, so. Of course, I, oh my goodness, it can be kind of tough because, uh, a lot of the games that do end up getting released for the Switch do end up making it over here, but there's definitely got to be some Switch ex uh, Japanese exclusive games for the Switch that haven't seen a release here in North America. So, anyhow, uh, I've been rambling on for quite a while, so... I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. 
Also, I have a Twitch channel, so if you folks aren't following me on my Twitch channel, I stream there every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. Uh, tomorrow I'll be playing more of the Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. And hopefully on Sunday I'll be going back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And then on Tuesday I'll be going back to the Link's Awakening remake for the Nintendo Switch. Which I've really been enjoying, by the way. And also on my Friday streams, I've been uh, going back and watching uh, episodes of Captain N, the Game Master from 1989, as well as episodes of Game Pro TV from the 90s, which ran from... 1990 until 1992 in its first iteration, so... And also, I was watching episodes of Video Power with Johnny Arcade, which aired in syndication as well, so... That was very fun to uh, go back and watch, so... Anyhow, enough of me rambling, uh... My Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash diehardgamer1983 if you folks want to check out my Twitch channel. So, with all of that being said, I'll see you guys next time in the next pickups video or the next uh, game box video, rather. So... I also need to go back and start making uh, videos for my YouTube channel and can as well. But that's an entirely different uh, discussion for an entirely different time. So, hope you guys enjoy your Friday, your Thursday, as well as your weekend. And I'll see you guys next time. Laters. Laters.